Hello there and welcome back to Bolter Bucks. My name's Stephen Bresna and today we're going over the Hornady 300 PRC 225 grain ELDM ammunition and how it performs on elk. Now you may be thinking uh, ELDM is for match, extremely low drag match tip bullet or match bullet. And that's true. I always recommend that you use hunting bullets for hunting, but I happened to get a 300 PRC this year that just hated the ELDX, the Hornady ELDX hunting cartridge, and it would not shoot it accurately. So, so I decided to be the devil's advocate and see how the ELDM factory offering would perform on elk. Now you may know that both the factory offering in 212 grain ELDX and the factory offering in 225 grain EDLM have extremely high ballistic coefficient. In fact, the ballistic coefficient of the 225 grain ELDM is, is I think, 0.777. And <clears throat> the uh, uh, foot-pounds of energy with the ELDM at 500 yards is over, I believe, 2200, or excuse me, it's 25 uh, hundred some uh, foot-pounds of energy and the velocity is over 2200 at 500 yards and uh, with the ELDX it's still very high so on paper obviously the ELDM has everything you need to have terminal performance on a large game animal such as an elk but bullet design does matter and that's why I usually tell people stick with hunting bullets and I agree that you should. However, like I said, I wanted to see how this 225 grain ELDM would perform. So let's take a look at some footage of me shooting a bull elk this year twice with the 225 grain ELDM. All right, hope you enjoyed that footage. So as you can see, the first shot, I believe I shot a little bit far back and a little high, a little higher than I wanted. I wanted to shoot far back because I was angling in as he was quartering away. The uh, second shot went right into the rear part of the shoulder, right on the edge of the shoulder. Both these bullets were found in the animal, or I should say what's left of them. The first bullet fragmented into tiny, tiny little pieces and dejected and just was like a bird shot in him. Obviously it did the job very effectively, and this was only at 200 and I think six yards. So obviously depending on the elevation, distance of the shot and so on is going to affect the performance of the bullet. Generally the further out you are, the more that bullet's going to hold together. So at 200 yards with these extremely high velocities, it's really no surprise that the ELDM bullet uh, fragmented. Now the second bullet dejacketed and did fragment, but only into a couple larger chunks. So it didn't defragment nearly as much as the first, excuse me. So at the end of the day, do I recommend the ELDM? No, not really. Um, at under, you know, at close yardages such as 100, 200, 300 yards, it's probably going to fragment quite dramatically. Will it get the job done and be terminal? Most likely, yes. It's probably going to do the job. Uh, the downside is you're probably not going to get a large blood trail because at those ranges, the bullet's not penetrating through both sides, so you don't have an entrance and an exit wound to bleed out of. So, can it work? Yes. Do I recommend it? No. I wish I had kept the bullet fragments, but I was pretty far back in a snowstorm packing it out solo hunting. Um, so it was kind of the last thing on my mind. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed this short video on the 300 PRC 225 grain ELDM bullet performance on elk. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel.